Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Grumman Pilots YouTube channel. And this is going to be an interesting video for you. What started out at the hangar the other day, I was going through a box of bits and pieces for our main wheels and our nose wheels. The felt, the clip rings, the little cup washers, the little ring grease seal washers. And I was going to organize them all, see how many I had, get part numbers for them, get a price for them, and put them in our spreadsheet. But what happened was I ended up going through the entire wheel all of it and that's what we're going to be looking at today so just so we're understanding what we're talking about we're talking about the wheel on our tire not the tube not the rubber just the metal bits so we would like to ask you please subscribe hit the like button and hit the notify to stay current with our content so this is where we're getting all our information from. We're getting it from the Cleveland Wheels and Brake Parker catalog. And this is the entire assembly of all the bits and pieces. And then here's a list of all the, including optional portions that you can do to put a wheel together. Now on our particular wheel, this is what all the bits and pieces look like. And you see that there are two alternates in the left hand corner. We're gonna be talking about the main section of the wheel here. That's the two halves, the brake disc, and all the bearings that go in there. On the back side, we're going to have the stack of the grease seals and the bearing. And then on the front side, we're going to have the alternate version for our tires. We're going to have the grease seal, the clip, and the um, cup bearing. And that's going to be what we're going to be talking about today. Let's start on the inboard side behind the brake disc. And let's talk about the stack back there. We have a bearing. We have a bearing race. We have a ring, which is just a piece of stainless steel, which holds one side of the grease seal. We have the grease felt seal, then we have another ring, and then we have a snap ring. And that's all on the back side. And as you can, you can add the prices up and see how much you have right there on one side of one main wheel. Now let's look at the outside of the uh, main wheel assembly. We have a bearing and we have a race again. Then we have a ring seal, which is metal. Then we have the felt. In this case, it's cone felt that goes into a ring. Then it goes on the, with the ring. And then we have a snap ring. And there, there's your listing for what's on the outside of the wheel. Now you have that on the inside and the outside of both of the mains. And you can see that this starts to add up. And we haven't even gotten to the center section yet. And then in the center section, we have the inner wheel half, which is $417. We have the outer wheel half, which is different, but it's $464. We have a brake disc, which is from Cleveland, $179.80. And then we have the three bolts, which are the AN35As. We have the three nuts and the three washers, which come to $5.76. And you can look right there and see there's $1,000 of hardware right there in your center section. I know we were not going to talk about the tire and the tube, but here's a little tip when you're doing your tire. Put a stripe on the tire that lines up with the valve stem. That way when you go to park the tire, you can look underneath your wheel fairing if you have them and you can see when the valve stem is going to be on the bottom. Now we're going to talk about the seals. Now for the back side, we have the two ring seals. We have a piece of felt seal that goes in between them and then we have a snap ring that holds all that in on the back side of the tire. Then we have something very similar on the front side. We have the cup ring, which has a piece of felt inside of it. This is the one that you want to stretch out um, by when you're greasing it. It gets tend to be long and it's hard to get back into that little cone. But you can get it in there and then you have another clip ring. So those are the inboard and the outboard pieces that go with all the main halves. And then you just stack them all up, <clears throat> make sure they're greased. Now the thing you want to realize is that the rings on the inboard side or have a larger diameter center hole than they do on the outside. So the outside is the one that goes over the outside of the axle. If you put them backwards, you're not going to be able to get your tire to seat fully on the spindle. So anyway, that's a little bit of our information about what all comes to making up your tire. You know, you have over a thousand dollars in each main. You have a thousand dollars and more in the nose by the time you add tires and tube the grease and everything else in your thing in your tires uh, you've got four thousand dollars that your airplane sitting on that's not including the spindle here that's not including your fairing so take care of the pieces that you have they do wear out but with proper maintenance they can go a lot long before they have to be replaced so ladies and gentlemen we hope you found all this useful and informative it was a wheel um expedition as ken would say when ken wanted to go flying with you he would usually tell you get in sit down buckle up 
shut up and hold on. And so anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this ride all about our wheels and all the bits and pieces. Those were the Cleveland numbers and those are the prices from Aircraft Bruce. Now, just a couple of reminders here. We're going to some video in the background is going to be installing the um, out inboard rings and the felt seal and the clip on the back side of your brake disc but i also want to remind you that we have special shirts made up for oshkosh in about a week people are going to be heading to go up to oshkosh this year uh, air adventure starting and we have the bright green shirts for that and just wanted to give you a reminder that that's up and coming enjoy this video and we'll see you up at oshkosh so again we hope you found all this useful and informative thanks for watching and have a great day flying your grumman and in addition there's a little treat about three o'clock in the morning when i'm doing web work and other stuff here's my cat coming down playing with a mouse and meowing and just having a good time with me in the wee hours of the night so i thought i'd throw this into you as a little treat y'all please enjoy